Lucas Media. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. So, Hassan Campbell has recently did an interview with Vlad TV. And in an interview, Vlad asked him a couple of things. First, Vlad asked him how many kids he got. Hassan said he got 15 kids. Now, I don't know if he was joking or not. But 15 kids is a lot. And that's the problem in our community. I mean, I don't know. I know he's, I'm a, well, let me take this back. I'm assuming he's married. But I doubt he has all 15 kids with this one person. You know, even myself, we all of us grew up where you thought having four or five baby mamas and all of that is cool. It's really not. He, he still speak a lot of truth, but 15 kids, man. And then he talked about uh, Vlad uh, actually said the reason why he never brought him on his platform was because Hassan recorded conversation with uh, WAC 100. Now, this happened, I can't remember, I think it was last year, where they went on uh, DJ Academics platform, did an interview, then they got into it the next day, and then Hassan leaked out that footage. Now, Vlad said that's not cool, regardless of your issues with whoever you're talking to, or WAC 100 in this case, because allegations came out about Nipsey Hussle. Now, WAC 100 stands by what he said. He said, I didn't put out the information on Nipsey. Hassan did. Now, Hassan's response is he was a scum of the earth. And the way he was talking about people made him do something that he never really does. And that's tape people. Now, I don't know. I know certain states is legal and illegal. I don't know if it was a legal matter. But a lot of stuff blowback did come out on WAC 100. And Vlad said, you know, Vlad still said regardless. And it looked like Hassan was getting irritated too. Like, like regardless of what you guys' issues is, that's not cool. And I actually have to agree with Vlad on this one. You can't be just re secretly recording people and putting it out. It goes back to what I was saying in all my previous videos. Why do we have to do things for clout? Because like Vlad said, now nobody's going to be able to fully trust him, myself included, right? Like, why record me? What do you get out of doing that? He said that that's the only time he's ever done it. And it's only one other person. And after all these eight, and he's talked to all these different celebrities, which may be true, but you can't tell me that those celebrities in the back of your mind, like, man, Hassan, man, he going to record it. And the thing that could have happened is um, Wack and Hassan, they could have squashed it or whatever, and I don't know, maybe collaborate and did a show together. But now that, you know, they, they went too far on it, it ain't no turning back. And on, and on top of that, serious allegations came out about a rap legend that's no longer here. And like I said, just like when you when people expose text messages to the world, I just I don't get it. I'll never be able to understand it. Because yes, you're exposing that person, but look how shady the world is going to look at you. That's just like the office snitch, right? Or whatever. Let's say somebody tells them somebody gets them fired. That person might in their mind feel like they was doing a good thing. But now everybody else is looking at this person like, wow, you really just cost this person out to lose to lose to lose their job and not to feed their family. You put out a vulnerable conversation, whether it was good, bad or ugly. Who wants to be recorded? So I just want to get my quick two thoughts on it. What do y'all think?